Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Tuesday, January 5th, 2016, around 6.50 in the morning in Bellarica, Massachusetts. It's going to be a cold day. Highs in the 20s, but sunshine, but it's going to be ineffective. That means the snow's not going to melt. And this morning, it's only about single digits in the Merrimack Valley, well below zero in New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont. So, wear your gloves, wear layers, wear your lawn johns, wear everything that keeps you warm. Because if you have any exposed skin, it could get frostbitten within a few minutes. Some news to report. Boston Celtics beat the Brooklyn Nets by a score of 103-94 last night. And also, the Golden State Warriors won again. And the 76ers won their fourth game of the year. So congratulations to them. They're only going to win 12 to 15 games tops. And the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Rams have filed for relocation to Los Angeles, California. There's going to be an NFL team in L.A. Um, in 2016 season. And congratulations to Jerome Aguinla of the Colorado Avalanche who became the 19th player in NHL history to score 600 career goals. So congratulations to him. He's a Hall of Famer. And it's Happy National Bird Day. There's still birds flying around in the Northeast and stuff. They haven't went to Florida for the winter yet. And that's about it on news. My first video subject of the day is about the classic TV game show, Love Connection. Love Connection was a dating game show that lasted 11 seasons in syndication and it was revived in for, for another year in syndication in the late 1990s. It was hosted by Chuck Worley and it was famous for setting up dates. Love Connection premiered on syndication in um, September 19, 1983 the original version lasted 12 years into um, September of 1994. It was produced by Eric Levo, Lieber Productions in association with Telepictures, then Lorimar Television. Eventually, it all became Warner Brothers Television Distribution. And it was filmed in Los Angeles, California. The premise of Love Connection was that there was a there were two segments to the show, one with a single a man and one with a single lady. And both of them were single and they had three potential um, dates lined up. And they had like a brief interview with each of the three potential dates saying why would you be a perfect date and stuff. And they would have them, after the videos were shown, they would have the man or the woman selected which one they went out on a date with. And also the studio audience would select who they would, like, who would the, the person want, really feel want a date and stuff like that. And they would pick pick out which one. And then Chuck Woolley would say that we'll hear everything what this um, con um, contestant selected in two and two. That means two minutes and two seconds. That's what Chuck Woolley's famous quote was two and two but two and two is the average of a television uh the commercial time for an average television show that's a fact jack and after the break like chuck well he would um talk to the contestant and the contestant would so, um, say they selected the, which one they went out on a date with and they selected it and then they had the the man or the woman backstage talking about how to date one and stuff and Love Connection paid for it and stuff like that. And this was the first time they met, they they saw face to face since the date and stuff because they would go out on a date, but they would have to keep it secret because they taped Love Connection weeks in advance, so they could not tell anybody how the date went. And they would tell tell them how the date went. Sometimes it went good, sometimes it went bad and stuff. And they had the audience select who they should have dated and if it was a good love connection they would keep the date but if it was a bad love connection 
it, they would have to say goodbye to them and stuff like that. And if they selected a person who they should have dated, and Chuck would say, we would pay for the date, but they weren't, but the, usually contestants want to say no. But if the contestant liked who they dated, then they would come out on stage and and like would fall in love and stuff and they would continue out on more dates and they would follow up on a future episode of of Love Connection. Love Connection was very, very popular. It was, it lasted for years and years in syndication and stuff. And it was seen locally in Boston on WBZ Channel 4 for about maybe five, six years and WHLL TV 27. In the 1990s, it moved to w WLVI TV 56 and it was real, real popular. Production ended of the, the original Love Connection in 1994, but it lasted a year in syndication and stuff. For repeats, Chuck Woolley said on an interview years and years ago that Love Connection had 2,200 dates that they did it regularly, and it led to like 29 engagements and about 15 marriages and about a dozen kids. So it was real, real successful and stuff. And, that, and the modern technology was the twist of it which kind of was kind of a little bit of an updated dating game without the double entendre questions. Announcing Love Connection was um, Gene Wood, Rod Rowdy, Rich Jeffries, Johnny Gilbert, and John Carasaro. And Love Connection was revived in 1998 through 1999 in syndication for one year, hosted by um, Pat Bullard, and it was the same premise, but they had the, the internet now to like select the dates as well, which one of the contestants would f um, be the potential date and stuff. Usually the people on Love Connection were in their 20s and stuff, but they had some older people like 30s, 40s, sometimes divorced or widowed or whatever and stuff. And it got real, real popular and stuff. Reruns of Love Connection were seen on the USA Network for about two years in the late 1990s. Then it was a staple of GSN in the early morning for about six, seven years and the 2000. There's rumors that Love Connection might be revived in the near future. And plus, there's rumors that Love Connection reruns might show up on Buzzer in the near future because the president and general manager of Buzzer says he's open to bring more game shows into Buzzer that are not associated with Goods and Todman Productions. So that's about it on Love Connection. And that's about it on this video blog. Be back later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter with two more video blogs. One will be about why the Cleveland Browns suck. And the second video blog, will, the last video blog of the day, will be about my personality profile, the late great Harry Callis. More and more great video blogs coming in the days, weeks, months ahead. So many surprises. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy, Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO Channel 4 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatt, so, so stunning, and she's another cute leggy blonde. Barbara Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Amy Swenson, so awesome. And in the words of former... WWE manager, Teddy Long, get down with your brown. Bye now. <laughs>